And thank you. Tonight, some people across the state are still cleaning up the damage caused by those storms. In Pendleton County, the National Weather Service confirmed an EF1 tornado touched down last night. Three people had to be rescued when the storm blew over a mobile home. Today, our Victor Puente talked to one of them. He continues our first alert weather team coverage. The crowd gathered this morning included emergency management, the National Weather Service, and Dallas Arthur and his family. Those officials were surveying damage. That family was seeing what they could recover. I was looking out the kitchen window, looking at the trees to see how bad the wind was blowing, and it wasn't all that bad. But then all of a sudden, I felt the house shake. And the next time it shook, <laughs> it was gone. The Weather Service says it was an EF1 tornado that flipped his home. Arthur says he, his wife, and sister in law were planning to leave when it went over the hill. Once that mobile home came to a stop, the three people inside had to find a way out. Dallas Arthur tells me he was already on his feet, but doesn't remember how he got there. I had to try to dig my way out, and the refrigerator was blocking me. Where it leaned over and fell over on the kitchen table. He was able to walk out, but first responders had to cut his wife and sister in law free. They was pinned in between the uh, rafters. <laughs> All three were taken to the hospital, but have since been released. That tornado also blew the roof off of the historic Bethel Church just up the street. One of the calls we got last night said, Guess what? Your roof's going. But the lights are still on. Piles isn't sure if they'll rebuild, noting it's the third time the roof has come off. Back at the Arthurs, Dallas says he feels blessed to still be standing, knowing his story could have ended very differently. If it wouldn't have been for that electric pole and my propane tank and my shed that I had there and that walnut tree, we'd have been in the lake down behind the house. In Pendleton County, Victor Puente. WKYT. Pendleton County Emergency Management says they also had several barns taken by, down by that tornado as well as a fire caused by lightning.